Yeah, I mean, the, the, the funny thing to me, Chris, is that, you know, basically Barkley's calling for someone on the floor to, to, to uh, take the brunt of <laughs> some physical play at the time in the game when the guys on the floor are basically Mo Williams. Yeah. Uh, Dante, jo I mean, we're not looking at talking about guys that would really affect a lot of what the Cavs want to accomplish in these playoffs. So unless he's talking about them coming back in game three and going after some of the starters. But either way, I think it's kind of a reckless comment. Yeah, I agree. And that's why I said I mentioned, I don't know if I was cut off at that point, but, you know, the Cavaliers did most of the damage in the first half. Right. You know, it, it really didn't matter. The Cavs could have went in there with their – second and third unit to start the second half, and that record would have been broke. It, it, it's just that was the case. So I don't see, you know, I, I don't get where the Hawks were coming from, and certainly I don't get where Charles Barkley is coming from. Maybe uh, he did say, you know, he did mention, you know, set the tone for game three. So maybe he was talking about, uh, you know, tackling one of the reserve players and maybe getting <laughs> LeBron James and those guys to think of, Think twice in Game Three. I, I don't know, but it, it just it, it it didn't seem that logic didn't seem to go with how the Cavaliers played last night. 